Hey, what's up guys? This is Rob. Thanks for watching. This is another video. Today's a really exciting video because a lot of you guys have been waiting for the Remark Catback exhaust going on the Subi. Well, today we're putting it on. We have Jim and Nick here. We're at the house. And uh, so we're actually holding a little bit. We actually got it on. I just thought I'd do the introduction right now because I didn't have time in the morning. But there's a few things that I didn't really run into, but just some kind of attention to detail that I wanted to go over with you guys if, when you do install this. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so we're here in the car. Jim uh, just snapped these two uh, cat bolts. Pretty easy. I thought they would be way harder, but what is the size, Jim? A 12 and a 14? Say, uh, 14 on the rear mm -hmm. and 12 on the front. Okay, so we're just going to snap these off right now. Uh, this is the part that connects to the cat, you know, all the way to the J pipe. And so we're going to run from this pipe all the way back. All right, so we just have Jim undoing the the flanges, undoing the bolts to the flanges uh, to the muffler deletes that connects to the white pipe. So that's a full single piece. This one hole all the way back to the cat. There's one hanger, so we're gonna have to undo these bolts and then uh, put in the, the white pipe and the mid pipe. And then uh, from there, it should be pretty easy, so. All right guys, so we got it off. Here's, here's the stock mid pipe with the axle back section and then here's the remark axle back with the mid pipe section. And what we had to do was mock it up so we could determine the bends on the mid pipe piece because obviously the flanges have to be in a certain direction. So what we did was kind of turn it in certain configurations and we finally decided on this particular configuration. Um, so if you guys do end up getting this, this uh, cat back and watching this video, I believe so far, right, we have the right configuration. So it's gonna be this pipe at, with that bend kind of up top going a little bit left and then coming down and then hitting the Y pipe and you should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys on right now. Okay guys, so here we are getting underneath the car and it connects to the cat and what we ended up doing was taking off the donut gasket. Uh, so your stock uh, exhaust is gonna have a donut gasket inside there. We popped it off and we doubled up on the, on the uh, material gaskets that they gave us and it, it bolted on really easy after that and it, it all lined up. So as you can see the configuration of the pipe, take note of that because it took us a few times to kind of figure out the rotation of it uh, to get the correct bend. Now here's a little thing that I'm noticing as I'm installing this is, <sighs> sorry guys, it's, it's tight. Um, right here by the drive shaft, it's super tight. I mean, I maybe have not even, maybe a half an inch, three quarter of an inch in between the drive shaft and and the exhaust pipe because it is bigger than stock it's a full three inch so i don't know how the resonated version is going to fit up in here i'm kind of scared that it's going to hit the the drive shaft portion um we're going to finish tightening all this up and then from there uh figure out i guess if it'll fit or not but i'm not too sure at this point all right guys so here we are in the back um, I was just over there at that section back there showing you guys where the drive shaft is at and all there is is there's one hanger that uh, you just have to lube it up and it comes off really easy and then it just slaps back on so that that's literally probably the easiest part of this exhaust and then uh, put it all back here and here we are to the Y pipe and then it pretty much connects to the muffler deletes that I already had on the car and as you can see the bend is is good it, it mates right up and I don't see any issues uh, as far as fitment back here whatsoever with a differential or anything like that. So that's good news. I guess just essentially we're just worried about the drive shaft part. And again, once we tighten it all up, uh, we'll start it up and hear the sound test and stuff like that. And I'm going to drive it around. And again, then we'll contemplate whether we really want to do the resonated one or not. Because I might want to talk to Remark to see uh, if they had any issues before I end up doing all that. Stay tuned. All right, so we got everything buttoned up. Nick's gonna go ahead and start it up for the first time, non-resonated. It doesn't sound too much different, surprisingly. A little bit deeper. Do a couple, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe 
Sounds good. I'm tempted because on the stock one, it had a little bit more of like a pop, kind of a popping yeah. a noise. I don't know what changed in that or maybe it just hasn't warmed up all the way. Yeah. But we'll do, uh, I guess it looks okay. We're going to check for leaks right now and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it back on down the ground and then, you know, we'll drive it around the street and we'll get some, some pass-bys and we'll let you guys, you know, see how it sounds from there, okay? All right, guys, so we got it all on, and uh, it actually sounds really good, so I'm going to have Nick uh, hold the camera, and I'm going to drive it around and do... Or you want... Here, take it, dude. Go, I'll do it. Yeah. Take, and take the car. On the bar? Yeah, go for it. Well, just take it, like, you know, through the cul-de-sac and down the street, and... Are you going to let my son drive your car? Why not, dude? He's 18. Trust him. It's the car. That's what we have insurance for. Okay. <laughs> So we're going, uh, I had Nick do a couple pass bys for you, but I'm gonna give him the camera and then we're just gonna go around the block real quick and see how it sounds. It's not, it's not as bad as I it, thought. In the cabin, it sounds really quiet. Like I'm surprised. I'm super surprised. Yeah, no, but on the outside, it definitely sounds really good. I thought it would be obnox, not, not obnoxiously, but you know, because the stock one wasn't crazy loud. It had a little bit of pop. Yeah. Um. Man, yeah. I love this car. It's so nice. So one thing I noticed was it definitely looks a lot beefier from underneath here. Uh, it just looks way, way beefier and chunkier and just nice and I don't know. Looks really cool. Uh, it does hang a little bit lower than stock one. Uh, as you can see, it does mate up and the... Oh, I forgot to say to you guys, we did try to test fit the stock ones and the bends on them are a little different. So I don't recommend really using the stock ones with this mid pipe. I guess you could get it to fit if you maybe tripled up on gaskets. It just, it, it wasn't very, uh, the fitment wasn't 100% on, so I, I didn't even try to put them on uh, fully. But as you can see, it does look really nice under, underneath the car. And finally got a full three inch system. Just gotta get that down pipe on there, uh, the J pipe, and we're good to go. Okay, so overall, my first impression on the remark the full cap back now is if you're getting the non-resonated version it's 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 not that bad um i i honestly thought it was going to be a way louder way more poppy and, and throaty it does have a little bit more depth to it but it, it's not obnoxious you know obnoxiously loud um i'm here in california as you guys know so we do have kind of strict uh, emission laws and, and stuff like that um but overall i'm really happy i we're gonna put in the resonated one probably Probably not today, but we'll do it. Maybe do it next week or in a few weeks. I kind of want to get this the feeling for this one and see how it sounds and stuff. But I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Always smash that thumbs up button. It really helps. Uh, thank you, Jim and Nick, again. I'm sure you'll see them again on more videos. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions on parts or brands that you want to see, let me know. Remember, always live your dream, guys. Take care. Bye.